guys, guys, you get something where I want to talk. If you get person, if you see anywhere where anybody will come back from Indonesia, they do party, may you just go relax. If you have any friend, cousin, relative, or whoever that comes back from Indonesia and doing party or some sort of celebration or whatever, if you want to attend the party, just go there to eat food. Eat food and go back your house, go back home. Don't expect any money from that person because if that person gives you money, you will have some fake high hopes. And then by the time you understand the reality, you will be very, very disappointed. I have this, um, there's this guy that, uh, that came back from Indonesia some time ago. He constructed a house. He built his home in our village. He's from my village. So he finished building his house. And, he, and you know, it's a very common thing uh, in Nigeria. When someone was able to finish constructing their home, they usually call party, call people to come together, eat food, uh, play music, dance, and whatever, whatever. So this guy finished constructing his uh, home in my village. And then he called for a party. Uh, the villagers everybody came together to celebrate with him something like that so um when the people finish dancing eating singing music everywhere doing all sort of things and when the people were dancing like the old women and old men and the youth dancing he was busy spraying the indonesian money on them and one note of indonesia has about five thousand rupiah ten thousand rupiah hundred thousand rupiah or something so one old uh, woman in my village was able to pick uh, five thousand rupiah when they were spraying the money so that was what she was able to pick and then she came to me and gave me the money asked me to help her to exchange the money but uh, unfortunately there's no um period of change in my village so i had to hold the money for a long time i think i gave her some money from my pockets for her to hold so anytime I'm able to go to the city or travel outside Nigeria, then I will be able to exchange the money. Because of course, there's no period of change in Nigeria that changes uh, Indonesian rupiah. So what I did was I held back to the money, 5,000 rupiah. I was like very excited. I thought that I w when I exchange this money, I will get a lot of money from it. I held this money for about three years or so. I held it for a very long time. And then fortunately, I traveled to Malaysia to study. And then when I arrived in Malaysia, I went straight to the, I think after one or two days that I arrived in Malaysia, I went straight to the period of change to exchange this uh, Indonesian rupiah. I was very excited that I would get a lot of money from there. And then I went to the period of change and then I told him I want to change some currency and he asked me uh, what currency is it. I, I told him uh, Indonesian rupiah. He said Indonesian rupiah. He asked me how much is it. I said 5,000 rupiah. I was like... I was like very excited that I'm going to get a lot of money from there. And then the guy said, okay, bring it. I gave him the 5,000 rupiah. It's just one note. And then he calculated it. He showed me it was, the worth of it was like one ringgit. And one ringgit is about, at that time, one ringgit is about 15 naira. So I was holding back to 15 naira of in, worth of Indonesian rupiah for three to four years before I exchange this money, only to find out that it's almost useless. I was totally excited that when I travel, I will exchange this money and get a lot of money from it. But unfortunately, the guy showed me, press, press, blah, 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 and then he told me it's one, I think one ring is 20 cents or so, which is just about 50 to 60 naira. And then I was totally disappointed. And then I, I told him, don't worry, you can keep the money. I left the money for him. I left the money with him. I left, I left there. I didn't even take the one ringgit or whatever. The, even the uh, rupiah and the exchange, I didn't take anything. I told him, don't worry, you can keep the money. And do you know the worst part of it is that I entered a taxi to go to the bureau to change, to change the money. And the taxi, I paid about 15 ringgit. And 15 ringgit at that time is what about 800 naira so which means i spent 800 naira for a taxi to go to change the money only to reach there and the money was just about 50 naira 
so i wasted 800 naira for nothing so so that was my experience with indonesian rupiah since then i i downloaded the currency exchange app and then i started doing conversion of every currency by myself so guys if you see anybody that come came back from indonesia giving you money in indonesian currency or trying to spray you money in indonesian currency tell the person say i beg carry your wallet they go please if you want to give me money change it in naira naira nigerian naira is far more uh, useful than indonesian rupiah Someone that spreads you, <coughs> someone that spreads you, uh, 50 naira, 100 naira in uh, events or occasions, is far more better than someone spraying you 5,000 rupiah. So tell the person that I beg, even if it's a 50 naira, even if it's a 100 naira that you have, please spray it or give me, rather than giving you 5,000. Some Indonesian money is in 100,000, 100,000 notes. So you see one note is 100,000 rupiah and that 100,000 rupiah probably not even up to 500 naira or 1,000 naira. So whichever way, in any time you come across someone that is living in Indonesia or came back to Nigeria for a holiday and trying to give you Indonesia rupiah, tell the person, don't worry, keep your rupiah, give me naira. Naira is even, don't even ask the person for dollar or anything, just tell the person, give me naira. Any amount that the person gives you in Naira is far more worthful than the amount that he will give you in Indonesian Rupiah. So that was my experience, guys. And then imagine holding 50 Naira for three years before I traveled abroad. Traveled how many? About 5,000 or 8,000 miles away to exchange it only to find out it's just worth 60 Naira or 50 Naira. Guys, I bet when I share this video, follow my Facebook page and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and uh, until I see you again, bye-bye.